it's just natural to you because you are a mix of both cultures so yeah get creative and own it and that's kind of what i've done well the kitsune no yomi iri is perfect and it's just another way in which i create my own culture and define it for myself i mean ethnicity is not changeable but culture is right so i'm both externally referenced oh you don't look japanese or you're not you know really japanese etc and then there's internally referenced which is both, right? Like, I can't define my Japanese-ness for myself entirely, but after I get my fill of, you know, everything, the lessons that I want to learn, then I can create my own art out of it. And that's kind of what this is. And this entire project is about my journey with my Japanese culture, my journey with my Japanese identity. And I moved to Japan following my instinct something has strongly pulled me to japan since i was 12 years old so when japanese people ask me why did i come to japan i say senzo ga yobimashita my ancestors called me <clears throat> senzo ga yonda um because i do feel like it was my ancestors that called me here because it certainly wasn't my mother or my relatives um in fact, I had to hop over my mother's negative um, negativity to get to and through the creation of my own Japan. And I know that there might be some other people who have a similar story. If you were lucky enough to be raised bilingual and have uh, your parents' culture just absorbed through you with effortless bliss, then like amazing you know um, my mom didn't teach me how to speak Japanese but she did send me to Osaka for three months and that was one of the most um, life-changing summers of my life actually so I spent that time with my favorite Obasan um, who died of cancer actually but she was so patient and yasashi and loving with me and I was a brat but it totally opened my heart to Japan forever, and so I eventually ended up living here. Kitsune no Yomi Iri is about this other longtime dream, which is to wear this fabulous Shiromuku kimono. And I came to Japan with this amazing open mind and, you know, great free spirit, and thinking that, of course, I'm not going to have any trouble being a goddess in Japan. <laughs> I don't have a trouble. I don't have trouble being a goddess anywhere else. So why would Japan be any different? But Kitsune no Yomi Iri is also very appropriate to my experience in Japan because I haven't been able to find a partner here, um, and dating has been interesting. It's been very you know informative and educational, but I haven't really clicked with anyone in the platonic or the romantic really level. I don't really have soul friends here in Japan. Um, so I came here to find my Japanese and what I did find was my Hafu Japanese. And I never even used the word Hafu before I came to um, Japan. I thought I was Japanese American, you know? Um, I never used the word Nikkeijin before I came to Japan. So now I understand that I'm both Nikkeijin and Hafu. And that is really who I am, culture. Because culture is really created anyway. It's either created by people in power or it's created by ourselves and our communities and our own beliefs. So we can not be a cult. Kitsune no Yomi Iri sessions at the photography uh, studio are not unique. I'm not the only one doing them. <laughs> Most of the Japanese girls want to be photographed in Western wedding uh, dress and they even have a fake church. They're not even Christian. They have like this photo, <laughs> this prop. Christian church with or Catholic church with a cross in the background. So like I'm trying to be more Japanese and they're trying to be more quote quote Western or Americanized or I don't know whatever non-Japanese which is so ironic isn't it? Like you don't need a partner to to have this. I never got a Shichigo-san or a um, Shojin Shiki or a Sotsugyo Shiki. Um, I never wore a Furisode. I, I, I'm probably not you know I'm not ready. I'm not trying to wait for my own kekkon shiki, you know. And then after you um, get married, then you wear black kimonos every day to everything. 
Um, so this is about my half a Japanese journey, Kitsune no Yomi Iri. And I'm making actual um, wedding favors and creating real Japanese wedding favors. Um, hiki de mono. And just like the um, non Japanese traditions, you get good gifts because um, people usually give good gifts to um, a bride and groom for their new life together. So I'm hoping that we can have a similar exchange and support, and you will support me on. Um, my Patreon and become a patron. Mm -hmm.